So today we are talking about the command prompt. Uh, there are two ways to access the command prompt. First way is you can go directly to um, this search bar in Vista or in XP. Uh, you can go to the uh, run command and just type CMD and then press enter and uh, the command prompt will come up. Another way to access it is to go to all programs, find accessories and you should be able to find the command prompt in there. Now before we um, do anything with uh, the uh, command prompt here, I'd like to back up and, uh, and, and sh this is something that I do for my students uh, so that they understand that the, the desktop that I'm currently on is a folder and uh, this folder lives on the computer and we can actually go to it. Uh, the path is going to be different on XP but in Vista you get a user, user and then here's your desktop. So notice that all of the things that are here are also in here. For example, here's this PowerPoint presentation. There it is right there. Likewise, if I create a folder in here, let's say new, mm, let's say, if I create a new text document, if I call this, hello, everyone, here it is right here. The same thing is created right here because the desktop uh, is the same thing as this folder right here. This and this are the same thing. Um, so the first thing we're going to do with uh, uh, the command prompt is we're going to open it up and I'm going to actually start at the very very top level here. Notice how um, I'm <coughs> I'm at C right now. Okay, And if I want to see what's in the directory of C I just type DIR. DIR, stand, DIR stands for uh, show me what's in the directory and there's a bunch of stuff that comes up. If I want to go slow, I just do dir space forward slash p. And that will make everything uh, go one at a time. So if you notice, if I go into my C drive, the stuff that's over here, I've got this blue J um, folder, this brother folder, folder and directory, same thing, Greenfoot folder, then I've got these uh, files, JPEG files, 1000337, Notice that I've got the same thing right here. Here's that file right here. And here's the Blue Jay Brother directory or folder. Here's the Brother directory or folder. So uh, right now I'm looking at all the stuff that's in here, but I'm just using the command prompt to do it. So uh, let's type DIR. So that's all the stuff where I am right now. I want to go to the users folder. So I'm going to type CD users. CD stands for change directory and that will put me into the users folder. So the same, it'd be the equivalent if I, if I was doing this, if I came over here and uh, I clicked on users. So now if I want to see what's in this fo uh, folder, I type DIR. It'll show me that I've got a directory called public and I've got a directory called user. Same thing in here, public and user. Now this is a hidden folder so it's not going to show up in here. Notice that I have a dot dot right here and I also have a, a period. Those are just pointers. If I type CD, if I type CD dot dot, it'll just take me up to uh, my original uh, folder. So I'm going to go back into users. I'm going to go, I wanna, now I want to see what's in here. So I'm going to change directory to user. Let's see what's in this directory. And here's desktop. So I want to go into desktop. Oh. And type it correctly, desktop. There we are. Now to, um, and there's all the stuff in my desktop. So now I'm back in here. I'm just using uh, this uh, command prompt to show me what's what's in here. So um, <clears throat> I'd like to create a directory. I'm going to say md for make directory and I'm going to call it uh, temp cmd, temp command prompt. Notice that I just created this folder and it's going to show up in here as well. There it is. So now if I want to go into here I just type cd temp cmd. If I type dir well there's nothing in there. There's nothing in this folder. Uh, if I want to create a file I can type notepad and let's call this file1. Cannot find file. Do you want to create the new file? Yes I do. I'm going to type hello I'm just going to click File, Save, Close, 
And now when I type dir, you'll notice that I have file one. It's been created in there. So uh, let's create another one. Let's call this one file. Uh, let's call this uh, notepad file two. So this will open up, say yes. Hello again. Let's go save and close. So now if I do a dir, you can see that I've got both file one and file two. One of the nice things about uh, the command prompt is that you can type dir space, let's say f uh, asterisk. This asterisk is a wildcard character. It's going to return all the files that begin with the letter f. If I did dir um, star dot txt, it would show me all the files that end in txt. Uh, to get rid of a file, I would type del file one dot txt, and now you'll notice that it's gone in here. If I type dir in here, that file one will not show up anymore. Um, I'm going to go up one level, so change directory dot dot, and here's my temp cd. If I'm going to remove that uh, that directory, I have to type rd for remove directory forward slash s and temp cmd. Are you sure? Yes. If I do a dir, notice how it's not in here anymore, and it disappeared from over here. So. Uh, to check the version of Windows that you're using, you just type VER. It'll show you the ver uh, version of Windows. So this is version 6.06002. .06 this is uh, Vista. And to exit, you just type EXIT. And that's it. That's how you use the command prompt.